Today we're building the front wall of the studio. Yes, it's finally happening and placing the speakers right in here. Very complicated, very interesting. Can't wait to show you the final result. Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today's main mission is quite simple. It's finishing that front wall, the one that doesn't exist yet. I will discuss with Leonard really quick what kind of tools we need to finish it, build the speakers into the wall and seal it off entirely, and then head over to DIY store. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Back. Oh, good. It's all in the car. It's really, really heavy. Yeah, we'll we'll try to make it work. Uh, some of the stuff is sticking out of the car, but it's just like 15 minutes of driving. It should be it should be fine. Let's see. So far, it looks good. Whoa. We made sure to have enough space. It's all free. First up is making sure. The floor parts, the wood floor parts are in place. Cause right now you can still move them. They need to be screwed in, in place. The next part is by far the most complicated. We have to get the angle right. That's like, if we screw that up, that's it. It won't sound good. Like the angle of the front wall, it's angled 30 degrees and it needs to be exactly the same on both sides. If it differs a little, it's not that bad, but it has to be the same on both sides so that the speakers face us at the sweet spot in the exact angle. And I don't know how we'll do it, but we'll do it. So far, so good. The first two pieces are in place. We're now trying to like figure out how to make the cutout for the speaker, measuring it, making sure we can take this piece out to fit it through. On the other side, we're doing the same thing. And like those walls, they're twice. We're taking two layers to make it extra thick and as solid as possible. And the entire wall is not fixed to the floor. We can still move it. It's so complicated to get it right. So we're, we're delaying it a little. We're doing the cutout and everything ready so that like a door, we can then move the entire parts of the wall and then measure it actually with the speakers on and make sure it's 100% exact. <laughs> Looks good. Fits almost perfectly. Just uh, right here, this little bit right here, we need to slim it down a little. And then we got the speaker already in the wall. It's looking extremely, extremely good. The speakers still need to move, be moved down by a tiny bit to be on ear level. And for that, we have to replace the stands. There's, the stands are just there to move them and align everything. <laughs> we will actually build like proper stands. For those stands, I need the, the rubber stuff and I can't find it. I already searched it for an hour and I can't find it. But this studio at the moment during construction is, is a huge mess to be honest. But let's see if I can find it. Otherwise we can't continue. It's not in the A studio, not in the secret room, maybe somewhere in here, I don't know. It's not in the kitchen, no. Also not behind the couch. It's not in the office, by the way, these are the prizes for the remix contest. Not here, not here, not here. Also not on the table. Definitely not in the vocal booth. I also don't think it's in the B studio. I know, I know, everything in here is a little messy at the moment, please excuse what we're constructing. And no one will enter the studio the next month anyways. We had to close down due to the lockdown. Maybe in here. This is like the, the storage. 
storage room underneath of the staircase. No, no, no. Ooh, a MacBook. No, no. Ooh, headphones. Not in here. There's just one more place. Ooh. Sometimes we put stuff in here. No luck. No luck. I don't know. Like, I hate it when I'm searching stuff and I can't find it. I promise to clean up once the A studio upstairs is done and it should just take like two more weeks. I'll clean up this entire space and just throw everything away that I don't need. But yeah, I can't find it. I think I now remember what happened. I, I actually used them. I found one of them right here. One of these rubber pads. And I think on the last day I put all of them underneath here just to cover it up. And they're not needed, so I'll take again half of them out to use them to build a stand. Just not sure if we will actually be able to, to finish that today, but let's see. Let me show you like some special thing. You see right here is a canal that goes through underneath. That's where the cable goes in. And this part is removable. You just slide it back in. Once the cables are underneath, it goes up until here and then to wherever it needs to go. This needs to be extra precise because we can't change it once the wall is in place. There's no way to fix anything there. So we're trying to, yeah, just, just get it right. But it looks good so far. Whew, it's almost nine. We, we got something I can show you. It's not done yet. This right here is probably the most massive speaker stand ever. Concrete, lighter stone, concrete stone again in between is all of the fluffy favorite stuff of mine the green itchy rock wool and then rubber in between the very very squishy absorbing stuff and above it exactly 100 kilograms because that's what it's made for it works the best if you have the right load on it and then more rubber the speaker itself, it goes through the wall. The other side, we didn't buy enough stones, so we can't continue working today, but we will continue in the coming days. And it, it looks amazing so far. I can't wait to listen to it. The entire part here in the back will be all covered, all sealed and all filled with more of the itchy stuff. So that at the end, the entire studio is 100% absorbing, except for the front wall and the floor. And that's the best you can do in a studio. It takes the most time, it is the most effort, and it's also the most expensive, but that's that's the way I want to build my dream studio. I'll tell you more about the technical parts in the coming days, because there are multiple ways to build speakers into a wall, and there are a lot of misconceptions. All of this was calculated by one of the best acoustic designer, and we are just implementing everything he told us. And there are also some parts I can't share. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. It's a little silly if you ask me, because it's not so special. But I can also understand if someone wants to keep their secrets like to them and make money with it. So uh, yeah, that's that's it from today. Thanks a lot for watching. That's studio construction day number, I don't know, 15. Front wall, almost done.